I have salutations. This is something fall from welcome back to let's play Okami now And um, before I go back and do any sort of um Backtracking type things. I might have on my mind. I'm gonna go over here and just look around this area a bit more. I want to talk to this guy again Anukuku, okay, that's her name All right Okay, so um I just for some reason wanted to check if that was the person that um Mr. Bamboo kept bringing up, which would have been weird, but I was curious. Now, um, between episodes, I went over here for like half a second, and I noticed a few things. Number one, there's a clover here. Number two, this is the logo of Clover Studios, who originally made the game. They're now not a company that exists, because they're, um money they they like their games weren't selling as well as capcom had hoped all right um i've triggered a thing okay wow what a nice view too bad it's spoiled by that sunken ship sorry looking at anything ain't it hey look what's the strange pattern on the bottom of the sea looks like a huge crescent moon or something it's shaped too perfectly to be a coral reef all right. So you want me to do a crescent moon? And that's gonna do something. It's facing the other way though. Or... Um... I just raised the ship above the water. Holy smokes! That's not something you see every day. Wonderful, it's safe to walk on that lagoon. Alright, um... I wasn't gonna do that yet, but now I am. Let's go for it. Alright, let's get out here. And into the ship, I guess. This wasn't my plan for the day, but it is now. There's something buried here. It's uh, Exorcism Slip M, Holy Incarnation, Moderately Damages Things. Let's just look around here for a moment before we go into the ship. I, like, this wasn't where I was planning on going, but, um, I guess I can go into the ship, um, hopefully I'm not screwing myself by doing this too soon, but, um, I, I feel like this is gonna be a dungeon in here, or it could be a properly designed ship. Either way, really. Um, can we just go in? Is this going to be a dungeon? Or is this going to be a reasonably sized ship? Sunken ship. I, I, I'm feeling dungeon here. Um. No! It's too small to be a dungeon. Okay. This doesn't look passable, though. This door cursed. Probably see the love to keep the looters out. But I've never seen such a sense of looking cursed before. Hope this isn't one big curse. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm not going into this ship yet. Yeah, okay. Well, um, that's that adventure for now. Guess we're not going to the ship yet. Although, there's another, um, treasure here. Now that I can dig better, though, um, that's the other thing I wanted to check. Okay, I got a glass bead, um, now the best way back would be to go here, I believe. Um, uh, Okay, well, okay, so I can't make it back out of here, but there's a curse preventing me from entering the ship from the main entrance, alright. So, 
What now, I guess, is the question. Um, am I sure I can't make this jump? And I can't wall jump, okay. Um, can I go across that door and make it somewhere? It looks like I might be able to, actually. But no, there is nowhere else. Okay, um, game. How do I leave this area? Do I make it, like, day? Yes. That would be a yes, and that um, pushed me back towards shore far enough, maybe? Like, I could swim to that, is the thing. But I'm guessing I can't for some reason. I'm just going to um move on for now, assuming I can't actually, like, really... Like, I could get onto the boat now, you'd think, but um, there's apparently a dragon thing, so... I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to go over here, confirm I fed you. Look at the map. Um, okay, progress is over this way. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, uh, where, where did he go? I just can't think of where my Inaba could have gone. It's one of the dangers of keeping pets. Have you seen him, pup? Inaba. It's a pet that's missing. All right, noted. And here we have a very large dock, I guess. Um, can I dig into the dock? No. The dock is still too hard. All right, you. Um, let's deal with... Oh, I have the wrong weapon equipped. Um, let's equip the correct weapon which is this, and my sub should be this. Also, I can do this. I know he's gonna attack when I do that. And now, you didn't like this, it said. So yeah, that's how you get your demon things. Excellent, so we now know how to deal with those things, which is good. It wasn't really a hard battle, honestly. But um, over here is a treasure. I obtained Dragonfly Bead. Um, what are you? I want to feed you... Um, no, I want to feed you fish. You're a cat, right? Yes, you're a cat. I think we saw the cat scene already. Um, there's multiple cats here, actually. So that can't be in a buff. That's what I was going to say next. Is that cat in a buff? Or whatever its name was. The capital is going to be that way, I imagine. All right. Hello. Hello, you. You actually startled me. That's good, right? Um, you have hair. All right. Okay, well, first of all, let's just slash at you. Um... Okay, what? Oh, oh, I know what you won't like. It's an umbrella. Realism tells me you won't like this. Um, realism says I'm wrong. But... Okay, what else would you not like? Okay, um, let's slash this back at you. Let's get behind you. Okay, how do I... How do I deal with you? Um, what other skills could I potentially use? Um, there's no fire nearby. This is a battle I have to fight. Um... Not you things. Unless now I slash at you? No. Okay. I'm gonna put a bomb behind you. And now while I'm keeping you busy, the bomb's not gonna do anything. Wait, you threw out a skull. Okay, um, what do I do about you? This is actually stumping me. 
Um. Uh, all right. More. Um. Okay. Can I like get all of these back? Let's get this one too. All right. Throw your skull. I'm gonna um, slash the skull back at you. All right. Now you're weak. But I took too long. Throw your skull. Alright, throw your skull. Now I can attack you. Okay. So basically you have to get it into the situation where you can um get it to throw its skull by attacking it, I guess. This is a complicated fight. Okay, first of all, slash this back at it so it lands, then bug it so it throws its skull. Then slash the skull, and then just destroy it, and then slash it. Slashing is not how you get a demon thing. Oi, that is a tough fight. I did not understand what I was doing. Okay, um, so, what do you have to say about this? First, very bestiary, um, bird possessed by the soul of a woman slain by a samurai's blade. Alright, it has no trouble deflecting any sword attack with its umbrella, then it wastes no time countering using its dark essence not to counter. A great monk advises that this pattern can be taken advantage of when the umbrella comes up to block. Look, I tried that, didn't I? A creature will cause life as a woman and cease attacking. Okay, so use wind when it's in the thing. Anyway, five winds. Um, again, yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, spirit arm again. All right. Yes. The more you press Y, the more powerful it gets. Yes. So it's the same thing. And three strikes. And yeah. Okay. So that's that. And um. Okay, I think it can. And then, yeah, the um, jump. You can jump off the air. So, nothing new here that we didn't already know about. Anyway, there's the capital, I think. North is around Shamako Strait, this Iron City. Um. I don't. I think I want to go to the city yet. So instead, I'm going to um take a look over here, and if this is a loading zone or walled off, I'm gonna um. Oh, hello there, demon. Okay, first of all, horses. This is the most important thing here. Let's take care of these horses. Get some praise. All right, now let's take care of the demon gate. Okay, there would be a fire wheel and a thunder wheel was that? That's new. Um, and there's no fire anywhere to be seen, of course. So we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way and just kind of um, take them out while they, um, when they decide they want to um, release their elements. It, it's an ear. The thunder one is an ear. No, well, lightning one is an ear. Anyway, it's made itself vulnerable, so let's... Um... Take care of these, and then just give them wind for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, so that was that battle. I was not prepared for that. That was like, they didn't have their weaknesses. But we're gonna revive an area, which is good. And is that a mermaid spring or is it just green water? Yeah, it's a mermaid spring, okay. Anyway, what do you guys have to say? All right, what is it, pup? You wanna cross the border? You have to speak to my colleague if you do. Hey, pup, do you know anything about the moon turret, by the way? You know, it's the sag structure at the foot of Anuka Temple. I heard the view of the moon from there was amazing. Mind you, it's far too high for me to get up there. It's a little ambitious of mine to go moon viewing there one day. I'd have to do master jumping at the Jojo first, though. You look a bit heavy on your feet. Guess it's out, 
Guess it's out for you too, huh? No, I've been there actually. This is the border between the north and south Roshoma coast. Many of the most treasured scenic spots lie beyond here. Unfortunately, they're all calling with monsters at the moment. The border is here to stop them from forming a gang. Of course, travelers used to stop by all the time in the old days. Alright, so we can't go through here. The border. Is this like the... Um... Actual, like, if we zoom out... Zoom out, we're... Yeah, we're at the border of Nip... Are we gonna um, end up going to another country in this game? That's a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna um, go on a side quest adventure. So I'll see you in a bit.